Hello everyone, here I am in Adobe Captivate CS5 for Mac and I'm going to show you how to make a quiz and have it report to Acrobat.com so you can review the people who have taken it. So let's get started. You can see that in my Captivate project I have nothing except my quiz results slide which was inserted when I created all these questions out of my question pool. But first I'm going to switch into the quizzing environment. So now you can see I have all of my properties that I would need for a quiz. So, in my question pool, I have all these different questions that I've created. I've got my rating scale, multiple choice, true or false, I've got a sequence, and I've got matching. So, what I want to do, I want to hold down the shift key and select all of my questions. I want to right click, or control click, and I'm going to say move question to main project. So now all those questions have been moved into my film strip and are now in my main project. So if I preview the project by hitting command enter, you can see that all of my quiz slides have been moved into my project. Exit. Nope. Exit. Okay, so I have all my quizzes. I'm going to hit command S and save. Now I'm going to go up into the quiz menu and say quiz preferences because I want this quiz to report to acrobat.com. You can see I've already set this up, but what you'll need to do is to go in and click enable quiz reporting, pick acrobat.com as your learning management system, click configure, enter in your Adobe ID and these few things. I'll need to do that again. Okay, click save, connects to server, gets all of your results. Okay, now you can also set up how you want it to report. So you can say you want it to report as complete, incomplete, or pass fail. You can have it report to the learning management as a percent or a score. You can also set what it reports to the learning management system. We're setting it to Connect Pro so it reports everything. You can also have it report different levels. We're going to click OK. So we have all these slides set up. So what does it do? Well, if we hit Command Enter to preview, you can pick the answers. So how cool is this? Well, I'm going to say I agree. Submit. Now since that is an opinion question, it does not give you feedback as to whether you got it wrong or right. So what is the objective of the screencast? Oh, it's of course to look at bunnies and rainbows. Oh, looks like I got that one wrong. Obviously it's to learn how to use Captivate for Mac. Continue. Is this easy? Well, of course it's easy. Yes, sir. We'll continue. Now, we get to a matching question, which is kind of interesting the way that it does this. So it gives you your A, B, C, your three different things here. You can, of course, do this. Just drag it across. So we're going to say Flex. Of course, you use Flex and Flash Builder. You use Vectors and Illustrator and Flash and Flash Pro. Everybody knows that. But you could also pick from these drop-down menus, which is interesting. Submit. Of course, I'm right. So now it has a sequence question. What's the first thing we want to do? Well, we want to create a Captivate project. I want to add some questions and send for people to take. Submit. That's correct. And you see now it says that I have failed because I got one question wrong. Well, we want to post result. So you want to type in your Adobe ID. Sign in. Then you click send, and your results have posted successfully. So, once that is done, you can fire up your Captivate reviewer, and you can see that I do, in fact, have in this review file, I have my lesson already set up. I can open that and see that I have, in fact, passed on the one time I took it. It only reports you of having taken it once unless you set that a user can take the quiz more than once. She says, I made one attempt. I didn't skip any. I didn't get any incorrect. And if you drill down even farther, you can see exactly what all the questions were and what my answers were for the 
questions, which is pretty cool. That's all built in. Doesn't require anything else. So, that's all I have for this video. I'm going to post this quiz on my website. The link will appear down here. And you'll be able to take it and try it out for yourself. If you have any questions, as always, send me a link, send me a message on Twitter or YouTube or Forest. I'll get back to you and give you a hand. That's all for now. Thank you.